FreePick has another awesome update. And this one is gonna be so helpful for transforming your images with different backgrounds. You now have the power to edit, adjust, change the color, remove the background, and change the background, all with just a few clicks. And so after using this for a while, I've just discovered it's not your typical background editing tool. This one seems to be on a whole new level, and it's never been simpler. Now all you have to do is just visit FreePick. You could utilize this tool with any image, period. And so in this case, what we're gonna do first is we're first gonna start with a prompt to go ahead and create these images from scratch. And for this, I have just the perfect prompt to share with you. And you'll definitely wanna make sure you use this prompt because it's gonna create amazing images like these. But it's not just one prompt, I'm actually gonna share a few amazing prompts with you. Let's go ahead and look at the first one. So we're over here in my Mega Prompts database and in this specific view, as you can see on the left-hand side, this is gonna be my specific prompts and AI images created only in free pick. Make sure to check the links in the description for the most amazing prompts and databases. So as you scroll, all you have to do is just simply click on any of these prompts like this right here. It's gonna expand. And now you can see the exact images you're gonna get when you utilize a prompt like this one. So here's the prompt. Here's the model it was created in, Flux 1.1 Pro. All you have to do is copy and paste, enter it in the free pick, and just like that, you're gonna get some amazing looking images. And so the first one we wanna try is gonna be this prompt right here. It's gonna create this image, and it is very simple. Check it out. And if I go over to the next image, you can see the variations that you're gonna get with a prompt like this one. Now, I love the way this actually turned out, the crispness, the sharpness, and that nice magenta background. All you have to do is just use a specific color palette. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually use this image to start. I'll download this one, but then I'll also take the same exact prompt and then I'll also copy it because I want to actually generate it in free pick as well. And then the second prompt we're going to use is also going to be this one over here. Now this is going to work so well for this video because it's going to have that nice editorial look with that simplistic background with a little bit of blurriness again. So I'll copy this whole entire prompt as well. And this will then be the second one that we're going to use. Okay. So now we're over here in free pick and it really is this simple. All you have to do is go to AI image generator and in order to start Start using this right away, simply just select any of your images, okay? And so for an example, if I opened up this image right here, automatically in the left-hand side, you can now see all of my options. And this is the one we're working out of right now. It's gonna be background. Simply select background like that, and now it's gonna open up this tool set right here. But remember, I already have an image I wanna try first. So you could see over here in the top left-hand corner, you can actually upload any image. And if you already have an image that you want to upload, just click and drag it and drop it right here. Okay, so we're going to do this in one of two ways. Now, I did already download that astronaut image, so I'm coming in here and now I'll drop it just like this. Okay, it appears. Perfect. So the first thing on the left-hand side, simply select background. And again, this workspace is gonna come up. Now, let's go ahead and start with something simple. You can see right off the bat, we have four options, transparent, color, replace, and adjust. Simply select each one you wanna work with. Let's go ahead and go with color for now, just to show you how easy and quickly I can completely change up the color of this image. Let's go with blue. Okay, blue is highlighted. Now just simply select remove background. It's now gonna change it from magenta to blue. Watch this. Look how good of a job it did. Now remember, there is still some magenta in the actual image because the astronaut had that highlighted color on its actual suit. It wasn't actually part of the background, but no worries. The other thing we can do is, now that our blue color is in here, let's go ahead and now select transparent, and now select remove background. And now you get this cool slider bar to where you can see the before and the after. This looks incredible. Now, if you like this in the top right-hand corner, let's now go ahead and export this image. We'll upscale it and download it, but now let me show you how good this is gonna actually look. Okay. Now watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and now change the color of my background in Canva and go through an assortment of colors so you can quickly see how good of a job this is actually gonna look. And check this out. Now we have this cool looking astronaut background removed in front of this cool supercar. And now let's see how good of a job we can actually get with this prompt by creating the actual image in free pick. Let's go ahead and generate this one now. And now look at this variation right here. That's why I love this because you're never quite going to know what you're going to get. It has the color palette, but it's not that perfect abstract sort of background I'm looking for, but that's no problem because the next prompt is going to do exactly just that. This is going to create those beautiful color backgrounds for an ultra realistic editorial type of photo. And now here it is 
right here. Now, if I click to expand this image, you can see now this is going to create some ultra realism with that nice, just plain, colorful background. Okay, so let's download this one just to be safe, but we're not going to use this one yet. What we're going to do is actually copy the full prompt and actually generate it in free pick. Now, for this model, I'm going to go ahead and go with Mystic because it's going to make some very realistic style images. Okay, we'll go ahead and select it as four. And now we're going to hit generate on this one. I also want to try it again with Flux Realism because both of these models will look fantastic with this sort of an image. Now we have eight going at the same time. And so while that is thinking, now we're going to come back over to this one and now copy this prompt as well with that cool looking plain background and that ultra close up shot. Now I did a couple of things. I tried a few different models and I actually created some with my custom character Luna as well. All different colors, but all turned out incredibly real and great looking. And now there you have it. Check out these amazing looking images right here. Now this first row, I used in flux because I wanted to use my custom character Luna and look how good it did with these images. That is why this is one of my favorite prompts to get realistic editorial style photos. They all have some fantastic qualities. Okay. So what I like to actually do is take a prompt like that and change the background to be more of a brighter color and also use my custom character. Now with that said, I have her clicked. We'll go with this one. On the left-hand side, also select background one more time. Now this time, what we're gonna do, we already did transparent, we already did color. Now let's go ahead and now do replace. Now watch this. Replace is selected. And now what we're gonna do is one of two things. I can first start by just adding a new prompt and it's gonna replace it based off the prompt I enter. The second thing I can do is upload an image. Let's start with that one. So there's my image. I could select preserve background as is, transfer light to subject, and then toggle the strength. Let's go ahead and go with upload. And what we're gonna do is just go with an image I already have created, okay? So let's take that same photo of Luna and now add her here in this interstellar world. Okay, select use image. And now let's go ahead and now replace the background. Let's see if it can replace that yellow and now put her in outer space. And now look at that, just like that, boom, she's there. That is amazing. Now, the cool thing about this is that it remembered that that specific prompt had the color palette magenta and black. That's why she is also now magenta and black. Okay, now let's do it again. And now let's add this cool purple hazy image like this. Select use image here. And again, one more time, select replace background. And now check this out. Look how good of a job this did. This did a phenomenal job. What I love about this tool is that it still takes the effects of the second image. And now it even makes her more of that foggy haze with that gradient color scheme with that purple and blue. Look at the difference between the two amazing job. We're now going to go ahead and then generate this image with this prompt right here. And now you can see I did this one in Mystic, but with a completely different character. Let me just show you how good and how realistic this image actually looks. This is incredibly realistic. This looks perfect. And now even with this one here, the close-up shot, look at the attention to detail on each of these prompts. Okay. This one looks fantastic as well, but here's the thing. I need one that's going to have a larger background. Okay. So there you go. Now in that first row is a little bit better because because it exposes more of the background. But nonetheless, I still think I'm gonna use this image right here. This looks fantastic. Again, I went ahead and selected it on the left-hand side, select background again. Now let's do replace. So we're gonna do two things. Now let's do replace, but now let's replace our background with just a simple prompt. Cyberpunk, futuristic world. Let's replace the background on this one. And now while that's thinking, let me take you to this final prompt. And this prompt is gonna be one of my favorites. Okay. I love the way this turned out, similar to the one I used prior. So we're gonna go ahead and now copy this prompt right here. Hopefully we can also get some cool images like these. But before we do, that other background is completely changed in free pick and it did way better than I actually thought. And now there it is right here. Look how good this actually looks. Remember, the first one, just a basic background like that, grayed out. The second one, cyberpunk futuristic world, that is definitely what that is. And the reason I like this again is because it still kept the same effects. It still has that bokeh, that little bit of a blurriness of a background. Amazing job. Okay, now with our final prompt, here it is pasted right here of that person in that alien mask. And let's go ahead and now generate this one with some flux realism. Here we go. Okay, amazing job. Look at all of these images right here. I think this first row is gonna be my favorite and this was created in Flux Pro Plus. Check out this image right here. This looks incredible, okay? this one and even this one right here incredible job and now for our final thing 
select background again. And now this time I'm gonna go ahead and now do adjust, okay? Now adjust is selected. And now what I can do is select this button right here that says separate layers. Now look how cool this is, okay? Now that I went ahead and clicked adjust layers, now I have all these effects that are opened up to me. Blur, grayscale, sepia, brightness, and contrast. Watch this. This is all done with this simple slider bar. If I select blur, going from left to right, okay, I can select it and go back and forth. I can adjust the grayscale. I don't want it to be too gray, but as I go all the way to the right-hand side, notice how in real time it actually does change color. Here it is at 0%, and now there it is at 100%. That's amazing because I love how you can do it in real time without having to waste a credit. Now, the blurriness too, now look at it all the way up to 100%. This is amazing because what this does is that it really allows your subject to really stand out. Look at the alien, back to zero, and now back at 100. And then we have sepia again, look at this, all the way to the right hand side, similar to what a grayscale does, but instead of just being completely grayed out, it has that brownish tone, which is also known as sepia. And then again, we can adjust the brightness, just like this to where it's gonna be completely black, making it perfect to remove the background on this one. And then again, I can also adjust the contrast by going back and forth just like that, okay? Now, let's go ahead and bring our blur all the way up. Let's also bring our brightness a little bit further down, okay? And let's go ahead and now adjust the background like this, give it a few minutes, and now we're gonna have that cool looking image with that way blurrier of a background. And now, just like that, there it is right there, our final product. I highly recommend using these background tools because they've been working so well for me. And if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button, and thank you so much for watching.